Good evening, everybody. First of all, I'd like to thank Cycle Fever TV for covering this uh, event here today. Um, second of all, I would like to just remind everybody that we are here to honor Sergeant Meacock Camaro. That is what brought us together here today. First, I'd like to have everybody raise whatever you're drinking. Our toast to the fallen from Beirut, 41. 273, and also for every veteran that has given his life in defense of this country and who stands the line today. Now, a little bit about Sergeant Meekot Camara. Meekot joined the Marine Corps in January 1981. He went to 1st Battalion down at Paris Island. Um, he graduated in March, I believe it was, March or April. And there he got his orders to Camp Lejeune. He was, went through infantry training school. He got assigned to 1st Battalion 8th Marines. In 1983, he got his orders to 22nd Marine, or 24th Marine Amphibious Unit to deploy to the Mediterranean to relieve my unit, the 22nd Marine Amphibious Unit, in Beirut, Lebanon. In 1983 was a very difficult year for all the Marines who served in Beirut. In April of 83, we had our embassy bombed by the Hezbollah terrorists, killed 16 Americans, wounding about 100 more, and countless Lebanese civilians who lost their lives and were wounded. 24th Mile came ashore in May of 83, relieving 22nd Mile, and so their deployment began. Before I get into that, Meekot had a sense of humor. He liked to be a jokester. He was also very dedicated to his wife and son. He would never do anything to dishonor them. He was a Marine's Marine, and he was a Marine all the way through. He lived and breathed the Marine Corps. He would do anything for his men, and his men would do anything for him. He was in tow company, and he was in a tow platoon. He was a section leader, a second section of a tow platoon in Beirut. Right. Or dragons, excuse me, dragons. Now, in October 1983, things were getting very, very dangerous in Beirut. We'd already taken uh, numerous wounded, numerous killed from artillery, mortar attacks, sniper fire. But on October 23rd, Sunday morning at 6.22, Meekot and 240 of his fellow Marines, sailors, and soldiers lost their lives in the largest terrorist attack at that time, the largest loss of marine life since the invasion of Iwo Jima in 1945, and the largest loss of marines in one single day since the Tet Offensive in Vietnam. 241 lives were cut short that morning when a truck carrying over 2,000 pounds of explosives blew up the battalion landing team building headquarters. This was the largest non-nuclear explosion in the history of the war. Modern warfare. We are here today to honor Mikai. We are also here to remember his fallen brothers who died with him. Mikai would have been 55 or 56 years old if he was still alive today. There's veterans here who knew Mikai better than I did. I unfortunately never had the honor to meet him personally, but knowing his sister and all of his friends who I call my brothers, his memory will live on forever. And I'd like to thank Mission Barbecue for honoring me here today and honoring all of us here today. And I hope you all enjoyed your meal. That's all I have. Thank you. One last thing, excuse me, one last thing. It has been requested that all Beirut veterans and other veterans, or just Beirut veterans, Beirut veterans photo together before everybody leaves, and then we can probably get a photo with all, vet, all veterans together as well. Can 
Can I have everybody please rise while they put Mikan's photo up on the wall? Thank you.